All right, now we're out here in the courtyard. We just come out of the garage. We signed the we signed the wall. That's the entry, and look at that, huh? On the other side of that wall is a lot of treasures. I know because I've seen them. <laughs> so, let's go. We got the fountains brewing. We got the tiki. Look at that. Oh, palm tree. Yeah. Bet you have, you have a lot of parties out here. Have had yeah, a lot of parties. Yeah, yeah. And we'll be having some more. Yeah. All right. This is, it's, you know, it's a bit messy out here, but I always say that if it's not messy, you're not working. So right. we're working, and it's, uh, it gets a little messy. Okay, Bentley Avenue. Just finished the woodwork, and I'll be putting this back together. It's got a little rolls. Yeah. So just giving it a little bit of fluff and shine. So come yeah. on. Yeah, see, Gary doesn't send this out. He does it all himself. Hell yes. He creates everything. That's why it's not perfect, but it gets done. Yep. Oh, he's got, oh, check it out. He's got Pete's Fountain Valley t-shirt on. Well, how about that? Right. Yeah. How hey. impressive. Well, more, more, every, there's valleys everywhere. Everybody can be a valley wanker. If you've yeah. got a good heart, you love old cars, and you know the sign, which right. is right hand, the V, and the W. Valley wankers. Everybody valley. can be a valley wanker. Just know the sign and be a good car for us. All right. All right. right. Look at this. Wow. So you, you say rusty. One. Rusty one. And it's rusty one because this was Sausalito Fire Department and I could, didn't have the heart to destroy that fantastic patina. I was just, it was just, I couldn't do it. So I said, what the heck, all I can do is I'm going to clear this. People said, oh, that ain't never going to work. Tell that to the car. Yeah. Rusty one, rusty two, perfect. That's worse. So we're going to redo a lot of the stuff on this one. Just to, yeah, like these uh, screws, they really didn't need to be there, but you thought, hey, what the heck, huh? They're all different. Yeah. Even, you know, even though they're sisters, they're, they're different. Rusty one, rusty two. And this is where we, you know, this is the bending and the hitting and the welding and so forth. And you know how to use all these tools. Jeez, I would have no idea. Yeah, and the English wheel. Wow. Yeah, we made our own wheel. You made your own wheel, okay, yeah, yeah. So you can get your own name on it, yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's not so wonderful, but it works. It works, yeah. <laughs> so, you don't have them, you just make the tools yourself. family, you know, Barris's and, uh, you know, a lot of the guys, the old timers have been here, and Leno, we've been on Leno's four times. Four times. Andreas and I, and that was my first big day, that was with my friend Abe Bentley, and, uh, it's since it sold for two and a half million, and then uh, recently in the last, within the last year and a half, it sold for four million. So Jeez. we still hold the world's record as the most expensive pre-owned post-war Rolls-Royce or Bentley in the history of the world. And three dollars and fifty cents will get me a cup of coffee at Starbucks <laughs> if I'm really lucky. Yeah. So it really don't mean anything yeah. other than it's it's nice to be recognized right. as having done something a little unique. Yeah. And these are all just paintings of the various cars. And uh, my first race car was the thing up there, which is the little race car. Right. And that was the Garner Special. I found it in Wall Lake, Michigan. It was covering a cesspool hole so nobody uh. could fall in it. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my first expensive race car. Yeah. So anyway, come on in. All right. Yeah. This is our... Oh, okay. Correct. You got the rolls. All right. Okay. I thought you yeah, just that sold was it. Yeah, that Maryland's. Okay. Yeah. And it's, I thought it's, you sold it. All right. Really doesn't have hardly any miles on it. It was bought it new. Brought it. Did the '66 Route 66 from the dealer in Chicago all the way out here. Mm -hmm. And someday I, I'm going to let it go because I the only thing I ever drive it is just enough to keep the oil and everything going. It's absolutely perfect. Yeah, brand new. And Maryland was just a hundred pounds, so. It, it never broke down the leather or anything else. All special woodwork. It's, it's got everything. So, so still smells new. Somebody wants it, I'm going to let it go. If they're yeah. a good wanker. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even have to be a valley wanker, huh? And, and then, well, they'll become a valley wanker. This is interesting because this is the only one in the world. This was done in, in the late 70s by Clyde Cassidy. Again, the gentleman that did the little rolls in the front. And this is, started off life as a 72 long wheelbase silver shadow. And uh, he added the back part to it. He made it into a station wagon. And 
we Googled 1972 Rolls Royce Silver Shadow and lo and behold, that showed the original introduction of this car to the, the national public on television. So if you Google that video, there it is. And this is how it started off as a long wheelbase. And then he cut that part off and added this. And of all the ones that have ever been made, I think this is the prettiest one. Even the one Rolls Royce made is square rectangular windows. It's ugly. And the color greens. This is just a beautiful car. Wow. And uh, I have a gentleman from Germany and another gentleman from Italy that are quite interested in it. I just want to get them to the right people. Right. Yeah. Boy. Interesting old pieces. But our current oh. build. Wow, you made some progress since I've been up here last. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. This is going to be our salute to the Beast of Turin, which was basically my favorite car in the world and ones that caused us to start building La Bistiones because they're big. The, the original one was 28 and a half liters, four cylinder, and did 130 miles an hour in 1911 mm. in New York State one way when they thought your face would blow off at 70 miles an hour. <laughs> and the original car, here's a drawing or a painting of it. Where do I have it? Somewhere over in this mess. But hmm. anyway, here's what we're doing to it. We just. And how many liters? This is only 14 liters, okay. six cylinders, 18 plus. 18 plus. Man. And we uh, hmm. have to add disc brakes to the front, and we will put on this power steering unit here. Those are the two things that, uh, uh, that have to be done so you can really drive it safely and, and do your thing. But it's coming along. Yeah, it's Andreas has been making a uh, carrier for the gas tank and that, and uh, boxing it in because this will all be accessible. There's the. And you'll see it when it's all done. It's going to be really they, uh, interesting. It's going to have the Botel. Mm -hmm. Botel rear. Oh, sure. Yeah. Wow. But this is our little garage. Jeez. Yeah. We do enjoy it. We have a lot of fun yeah. doing it because. You know, Andreas comes up with some terrific ideas. I come up with some terrific ideas and put them in our heads together. And we've been doing this now, what, damn near 20 years, isn't it? Since 98 or 99. Yeah, yeah we've been years, together yeah. 20 years. It's, it's been a good, pretty good marriage. Yeah, <laughs> jeez. It's amazing, though, uh, you know, how you create these from start to finish. How really, in a short period of time, you accomplish that. It, never takes more than a year yeah. and that's if we're still playing with all the other stuff too but we, right. we do work monday or excuse me tuesdays thursdays and saturdays if we're not showing cars so it's we get usually two to three days a week that we can work on these things Jeez. And, uh, yeah, but we get them down yeah you're always at a show somewhere absolutely yeah, yeah. do love doing this oh cool all I'm right. sure glad you came by on your yeah, way. Yeah, thank You're you. You're on Jeez. the way to Pebble Beach. You're going to have an absolute yep. fun. Monterey. What a, what a way to kick off the Dan Alive tour to, to Monterey to stop here in Woodland Hills to see Gary L. Wells and Andreas with their creations and get the 411 on the cars going to the desert, the Saudi Arabia desert. That's... That, Very exciting. That's going to be we're, good. We're all stoked for that. You're going to have to take a lot of pictures and videos. Yes, sir, we yeah. will. Yeah. All right. I wish you were there. That'd be cool, yeah. He's Gary. That's Andreas. Thank you I'm for Dan coming, guys. Dan Alive. Thank you again, Gary. You bet. Pleasure to be here. I'm glad you invited me in. And that right there is one sentimental Rolls Royce. Dan Alive, Dan Vision. Yeah, it could be yours if you look awful good in this car. <laughs> Don't get any Already ideas, audience. <laughs> All ready to go. All right, maybe I'll even open the door for you. Maybe a Lady T car. <laughs> All righty. <laughs>